Hi, this is Billy from ForumSite, and here I'll show you how to work with the DocuSign integration. DocuSign lets you request signatures for contracts, agreements, purchases, and any other arrangement that requires a signature for authorization. The integration works with ForumSite forms by sending an email from DocuSign after the form is submitted, then the link in the email leads to their secure signature tool. Start by making the form, then enable the integration on the Form Settings Integrations page by clicking the DocuSign integration and connecting to your account. Once the integration is enabled, you choose if you want the document source to be from a form result or a DocuSign template. The difference is that the results docs come from your form site account and the DocuSign template comes from your DocuSign account. Let's see how each one works. Here I have a results doc PDF and I want to collect DocuSign signatures for approvals. The integration automatically adds a page at the end of my PDF template for the signatures and I set up the signers on the integration settings page. Here I'm collecting the signature from the person submitting the form and their manager. The first signer's name and email address are entered into the form, so I select Signer from Form, then choose the corresponding form items. The second signer is the manager, so I select the defined signer and enter that information here. The order is important because you can't have more than one person sign at the same time. It needs to start with one person, collect the signature, then go to the next person, and so on. If you don't want all the signatures on the last page, but instead have a signature area in the document, you can add anchors by adding placeholders in the document. Let's see more about using anchors on the DocuSign site. Using a DocuSign template starts in the DocuSign account. Here I can click on the Templates button to see my templates, or I can click the New button to make one. The DocuSign templates can use existing PDF files also, and you can read more about making templates at DocuSign.com. After I have my documents and signers set up, I can customize the subject line and message for the email sent to each signer. I can include pipe codes to personalize each area too. The last settings let me control whether to start the process again after results are edited and if I want to use a results filter to only trigger when the results meet a filter condition. Then I click Save and run some tests.
If you have any questions about this or any other Forum Site feature, you can reach us at ForumSite.com and clicking the contact link.